Police moved in cautiously, sticking with procedure, but trying to get to the scene of the shooting as quickly as possible. It was just after 4 p.m. on Friday afternoon when the first emergency calls were made. A shooting underway at the municipal centre in Virginia Beach, a coastal town about 300 kilometres south of Washington, D.C. The centre, a complex of 25 buildings, the administrative heart of the town. But the report's coming from one location, Building 2. There's little security here. People need to easily come and go. Police believe the man moved from floor to floor firing. While some workers took cover at their desks, others elsewhere on the campus were moved to safety. I'm just going through a lot of emotion because it's too way too much killing going on. And I'm just glad that they alerted us in enough time so we wouldn't be outside when everything was occurring. Those who made it out hugged their colleagues, their friends, now their fellow survivors. Others were taken to ambulances as local hospitals stood on alert. Police say the shooter was an employee who'd worked there for a long time. At this stage, they have no idea of motive, but he is now dead. I can tell you that it was a long gun battle between those four officers and that suspect. We've recovered a 45 caliber handgun with multiple extended magazines that were emptied at the time. The suspect was reloading extended magazines in that handgun firing at victims throughout the building and at our officers. This is a horrific day for the Commonwealth of Virginia. Our hearts ache over the senseless violence that has been inflicted upon the Virginia Beach community today. My deepest condolences and prayers go to the families of those who left home this morning and will not return tonight. Police now begin the task of trying to put together the why, the question most people will want an answer to. This was the 43rd mass shooting in the US in May alone and the worst in the US this year. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera, Washington.